Hi, and welcome to this week's community call. Um, we've only got one UMIP up for discussion this week, which is to add um, Yale as a collateral type. Um, Chandler, you wrote this. Do you want to talk to it? Yeah, sure. Um, Yell is is a team that wants to launch KPI options. They uh, we need to add their token for collateral. The um, this is a pretty straightforward um, UMIP. The only thing that I did note was that the Yell price is relatively low um, at the moment, and uh, in my mind, that's just a small. Uh, thing just to note around uh, whether this token will go to zero or not. And so I added that in the security considerations. But other than that, right. it's just a straight up ERC20 token. Sorry. Um, would the price really indicate that at all? Like, shouldn't we be looking at market cap? Mm, yeah, we should. But I mean, yeah, I, yeah. is 4.5 million. Yeah, so it's really small. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it's for KPI options, right? So I agree, like following our previous MO, like we don't really care about liquidity all that much. Um. So, mm -hmm. One of the one of the things that I saw was I know the Yell team has some interest in also launching on Polygon and I believe they have a Polygon token, um, but this only adds the Ethereum address. Can we, Chandler? Do they have a Polygon token and can we add that in here? Uh, I'm not sure if they have a Polygon token. I didn't check, but I agree with you that if they do, we should just add it. Final fee looks good. Renis? Uh, yeah, uh, I also don't don't have any like major objections on this. This looks good then for specific application of KPA options. Uh, there shouldn't be any like additional concerns. We just we'll, we'll need to check this requirement for Polygon address. If it's there, then just add it. So that's a go with a condition to check for Polygon availability and to add if present. Yep. Sounds good. That's so they definitely have a Polygon token. Like some of their more liquid pools are like quick swap on quick swap against like Ratmatic and stuff like that. So cool. So it's a go with an add to the Polygon token. We do yep, want I'll to agree with that. I'm more than happy to add that Polygon token. Excellent. Um, that was a remarkably quick call. Any other points people want to raise? Um, Happy from my side. I think Chandler brought up a good point earlier where it's like, should we, like, should we have these calls if uh, there's only like very straightforward MIPS up for review that, uh, like there's no kind of, I don't know, questions around or any sort of contention. I personally vote for that, yes, because I brought up the idea. Um, and, 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 and the main reason is, is that if it's, if having generic KPI options reduces the number of, of UMIPs that we have, uh, sorry, generic UMIPs have um, 
reduce the number of UMIPs, then it'll really just be collateral types that become the main ones that, that get added, which are relatively low um, low lift. And to take everyone's time, will, I think it's it's less valuable to take everyone's time than just doing some comments on, on GitHub. And when a, um, a an UMIP gets submitted that, that requires a bit of a discussion, I think that maybe warrants a community call or a public community call. My only reservation would be that if we cancel them in perpetuity, finding time is actually quite difficult. Um, if people start to book meetings in the slot that that occurs. So I'd rather keep the community call slot booked up and then cancel on a week to week basis so that people have that time booked off or like um, sectioned off in case we have to, to organize one. I agree with that and that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, should we then announce it in the voting channel when we cancel? How do we announce it when we don't have any UMIPs up for review that week? And we don't have a community call? Last week, I don't think we did announce it. We just cancelled and no one noticed. Henry's pretty good at, at announcing it across all the channels internally and externally. So what I think we can just do is on the outcome, when we decide, all right, this week, we're not having this call, we just inform Henry and he makes sure that the announcement goes out. And so it's the same process that we do for normal announcements. It's just that we're announcing that there's no call this week. Yeah, I think that's much better than just canceling that with no announcement. Yep, agreed. Cool. Okay, I'll keep it in the calendar and then we'll cancel on a week to week basis. Awesome. That makes sense. Excellent. Any other issues people want to bring up? I just want to say great job, everybody, on generalized MIPS and governance and everything because I don't know it's so low lift that now we're talking about like canceling emit meetings when it used to be like we were discussing 10 emits a week um so it's pretty pretty awesome definitely fantastic job Renus. you saved my sanity <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. All right. Thank you.